I'm Anthony Olguin and I'm going to be presenting an optimization calculus problem. So let's get to it real quick. So this is the optimization problem that they're giving us. We want to build a cylindrical can using all 20 pi meters squared of available material. Determine the radius of an, and height of the can that gives maximum volume. So this is what optimization is. They give you a certain uh, no, uh, number of available material and you're trying to find either the maximum or minimum of, of something. In this case, it's volume. And they want us to find the radius and the height. So that's what we're actually looking for. Uh, but they're not giving it to us. They're only giving us available material. So <clears throat> let's go back and highlight or underline the useful information. So we know that's a, that it's a cylinder. They're giving us 20 pi meter squared of available material. And they want the height and the radius for maximum volume. So the formula for volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times the height, which we know neither of them. We don't know what r is, which is the radius. We don't know what height is. So in order to find those out, we need to find the surface area of the cylinder first in order to find these two. So the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times h. This is basically the area of, the, of our base of the cylinder and this is the area of this part of the cylinder which if you were to cut it open it should look like this. So the bottom is the circumference of the circle so that's how we get 2 pi r times height. Now that we have that we can go ahead <coughs> We can go ahead and solve uh, for h. We're going to go ahead and use what they gave us, which is 2 pi. Make that equal to our equation. And let's go ahead and solve for h. Let's go ahead and divide. And then we're just left with H. So this whole thing right here is H. We can go ahead and simplify. So I'm going to go ahead and split these two up. You can go ahead and cancel. This would be 2, I mean, sorry. This would be 10 over R. These two minus R. And this is equal to H. Now that we know what height is, in terms of R, we can go ahead and rewrite the formula of volume in terms of R. Let's go ahead and distribute. Let's go ahead and cancel. Okay, now that we're down to this point, let's go ahead and find the derivative of our volume formula, which should be 
This is our variable. It's raised to the one power. Uh, this is our constant multiples. So let's go ahead and write those down. And then the variable, since it's uh, since it's uh, exponent minus one, we don't have to rewrite it. So this cancels minus pi. This is our constant multiple. Bring down the exponent. Write down the same variable, and then exponent minus one, which is two. So this is the derivative of our volume formula. Now we. Now let's solve for r. So let's make this equal to zero. We can rewrite it as since it moved to the other side, it becomes a positive. Now let's go ahead and divide. Ten over three, if you were to put it in a calculator, is approximately three point three three three. So let's go with that. <laughs> and then you find the square root find the square root of both sides. This cancels, and R is approximately 1.83. Now that we know what R is, we can go ahead and go back to our formula for H, which if you recall was 10 over R minus R. And let's go ahead and plug that in. which is approximately 3.63. So we're basically done. We found h, which is our height, and we found radius, which was what we were looking for, which uh, would give us our maximum volume for a cylinder. But if you want to go ahead and plug that into the volume formula, you can go ahead and do so. So the volume, the maximum volume for this cylinder, cylindrical can, is 12.16 pi meters cubed.